My name is Deacon Jim Carper, and we are in the sanctuary of St. Bernadette's here in Los Angeles. Um, last week, we were up in the choir loft, which you can kind of see up behind me. But today, here we are down in the actual aisle, and you see the pictures in the pews. Those are pictures that our parishioners have sent to us during this time when, when uh, we're sequestered, when we stay at home together, safe together. But they've sent us our pictures to remind us of them, and we've posted them in our pews. So let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one flock your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. May your hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Laconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and, by the and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Laconianion, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker and the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city. They brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer a sacrifice. The apostles, Barnabas and Paul, tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with the nourishment and gladness of your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifices to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagan say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name, give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name, give the glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him and make our dwelling within him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, here we are entering it. Who would have known? We're five weeks now into Easter already, and it seems like we just started with Easter Sunday, but here we are, here we are. The, the great paradox is of, of human existence, the great paradox is that those people that strive for greatness, the people that desire greatness, don't realize that the way to achieve greatness is not by idol worship. And we see this in the first reading today, uh, where Barnabas and Paul, where they all want to worship him. You know, they're like the they're like the star quarterback or the best baseball pitcher and all this. There, you know, they they idolize them. They want to put their names on their backs and and worship them and you know feed them and all these other things. And 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 Paul and Barnabas are horrified. They're saying. You don't get it. That's not what the, no, this isn't what about. We're not gods. He's God. We're not. We're here to tell you about God. Stop worshiping us. And yet, in our world today, there is so much of that idol worship. You ever look at different figures, how we look at certain figures, you know, whether they be sports figures or political figures or, or you know, celebrities, and somehow people become enamored with these people and, like, everything they say is so wonderful and everything is so true. And then all of a sudden when they fall, they fall a very long and precip precipitous way, you know, crash. There's either the high or the low. And, and Paul and Barnabas are saying, no, that's not why we're here. We're the spokesman for the big guy. We're the ones that are here to talk about him. We're the ones that are here to tell you about him. And my brothers and sisters, that's really our job on earth. That's what we're called to do, is to not enamor ourselves or make ourselves look good or make ourselves celebrities and sadly there are some even religious people who have made themselves celebrities we're here to serve think of mother Teresa. mother Teresa didn't want any kind of publicity and yet by simply going about her way they're doing her loving things for caring for people she's one of the greatest people ever known in history and we'll go down that way brothers and sisters Love one another. Love one another. We are called today, particularly during this time, this difficult time in the world, is that not standing up and telling people, this is what we need to do. Actually, what we need to do right now is to love and care for one another. Because so many of us right now are frustrated and hurting and just don't know what to do. So my brothers and sisters, reach out without touching. Reach out to one another and show people how much you love them. We're not the gods. We're simply the messengers. Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God in the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely with these common petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Jose, and for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be blessed with the zeal and courage to proclaim the values and the obligations of our holy religion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders and representatives on the national and local levels, that their laws and their lives be an inspiration to all citizens by reflecting right reason and divine revelation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth in particular, 
that they be given the encouragement and the guidance they need to resist the immoral and sinful presence of our current pagan culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those suffering with the coronavirus, the needy, the aged, the lonely, that they be consoled spiritually by the gifts of grace and also receive care, aid, and loving concern from relatives, friends, and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. And for these intentions, for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our own hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, bless us by granting these common petitions. For we plead to you in the name of our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us come together with my brothers and sisters on both sides, even in pictures, and pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever, Amen. And let us pray together now our closing prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pray and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. And have a very blessed week. God bless you.